Good morning, Sally and Christian. Good morning to you too. Look at this sky in Newbury. Isn't it beautiful? Already the sun is beating down and it feels pleasantly warm. I'm in Welford Park, home to the Great British Bake Off, which starts again tonight on BBC One at eight o'clock. You may well recognise these steps which lead down into the marquee. Now, talking of temperatures, yesterday we hit 32 Celsius in St Helier, 31 Celsius in Cambridge and 29 in Hereford. Today, well, we are looking at temperatures a little bit lower than that for some of us, but in the southeast and East Anglia, they could actually be higher. Gravesend could hit 33 today. But you can see in the satellite picture where we've got cloud. Cloud across Scotland and Northern Ireland, that will thin and break, and you're going to have a drier, sunnier day than yesterday. We've also got a finger of cloud coming up from the English Channel across parts of southwest England and the southwest Midlands. That too is going to thin, so you too will see some hazy sunshine here. And through the course of the day, there will be a lot of sunshine around, but the southern end of that area of cloud coming up from the southwest could well produce some showers through the afternoon. So by four o'clock in the southeast, for East Anglia in the southeast, well, temperatures 30 to 32, locally 33, say in Gravesend. Then as we push north through the Midlands into northern England, more cloud than yesterday, hazy sunshine, temperatures down a touch as a result, but still pleasant. For Scotland, much drier for you today than yesterday, and it will be warmer and sunnier. Chance of a shower in the northwest, that's all. Same for Northern Ireland, drier, sunnier and warmer than yesterday, with just the chance of a shower in the west. But then for northwest England and Wales, back under the cloud, it'll be hazy sunshine. The cloud won't really be problematic. Again, we've got the sun in the southwest with the risk of those showers coming up across the English Channel through parts of Dorset, for example, heading through Gloucestershire. That's where we're at risk of them, but we won't all see one. And you might hear the odd rumble of thunder. Now, through the evening and overnight, we'll see more showery outbreaks of rain move across the English Channel, getting in across the Midlands and all points to the southeast of that. Some of that could be heavy. Again, there's the risk of the odd rumble of thunder. Not all of us will hear that. And we're also looking at some showers across Wales and northwest England, again, with the risk of the odd rumble of thunder. Temperature wise tonight, not cold, 12 to about 18. Quite sultry, actually, in the southeast. So we start with the showers in the southeast, they'll clear, but generally across the Midlands, northern England, and Wales, we're not immune to showers. Again, not all of us will see them, but some of them will be torrential, and there is the risk of some thunder. On either side of that, in the southeast, northern Ireland, and also Scotland, we're back into the sunnier skies. And then on Friday for northern Ireland and Scotland, we're looking at some showers, a bit breezy here too for England and Wales. It won't be as hot or as very warm as it's going to be and has been, but we'll still have decent enough temperatures for this time of year, Christian and Sal. Carol, thank you very much. Doesn't it look beautiful there? It does. It does look very nice and a lovely day.